Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com, and I'm here with uh, Larry McGaw of RV Comfort Systems, and we're talking about his Cheap Eat system, which is a system that an RVer can install um, to work with their existing propane system, which will then uh, allow them to use electricity to heat their coach rather than propane, and of course, use up all that propane. Um, Larry, a lot of people will have a space heater in there, bring it along, and uh, keep the chill off. Uh, uh, but, you know, there's something more to using the existing furnace or using the cheap heat system that a lot of people don't realize uh, about. And what, explain well, that. One of the big advantages with using the system is you're tying it into your current central heating system. That means that the ductworks run throughout the coach, not only in the living area, but down below in the mechanical areas where your plumbing pipes are running and your storage tanks are at. One of the things manufacturers do when they build these RVs, they take that into consideration with the forced air system and they have ductwork that's running around underneath there to keep those pipes from freezing in this colder weather. So when our system is tied in to the central heating system, it acts just as if it was the furnace itself. Mm -hmm. The only difference is, is you're using electricity instead of gas. So not only are you heating the living area, you're heating all of those under place areas enough to where it keeps your pipes from freezing, your tanks from freezing, all of those sorts of things like that. And that's a real issue, a safety issue, because if you've got a, a plug-in electric heater or a light bulb stuck underneath there, there's nobody there watching it. It's unattended. You don't know what's going on. That's a potential for a fire. With our system, since it's directly tied into the duct system, all those problems go away. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, obviously, um, uh, when you read about fire reports on uh, RVs, especially when they're, I mean, when they're parked, when people right. are living in them, there's just way too many horror stories about uh, uh, space heaters that have uh, uh, been too close to something or fallen over or whatever. So, I mean, obviously, a space heater is not an ideal situation to begin with, but the this ducting that runs underneath the RV, it, it's purposely not insulated very well. Right. Is that right? Right. The, whenever they put the furnace in, they're usually they run one or two small ducts to these areas, but they also, when you look at your ductwork, you'll see that it, it looks kind of like a dryer vent hose, the silver dryer vent hose. It's uninsulated hose intentionally because they want that heat to kind of leak out into that area and keep it warm and, and toasty. I've got one guy that bought our system four years ago, and he actually has a plug in his house. He plugs into his house. He hasn't brought, bought propane in four years. Mm -hmm. And he lives, he lives in Wisconsin where it's cold, and he never takes any water out. He just got, leaves it plugged in all the time, and he doesn't have any frozen pipes because, again, right. you're protected. Right. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.